In this video, we are going to learn about parse operator. Parse operator evaluates the string expression and parses its value into one or more calculated column. So this is a very powerful uh, uh, operator that can help us to break the data into multiple uh, columns. So let's go ahead and take a look. Here, uh, what I have, uh, I have a customer table definition and I'm creating this table with the ID, first name, last name and address uh, and then I'm going to insert uh, some data so let's insert some data and uh, then uh, what we are going to do we are going to check the data here uh, you can see that uh, I have address column that has a uh, street address colon 126 and then comma city San uh, Jose uh, and uh, then comma state and um, you have a uh, state of California then you have postal code and all that so you can see right there that's the data right there okay and this is one liner at the end I also have like this is a fake address or whether or good or not you know but out of this uh, whole uh, string uh, I would like to create uh, multiple columns so first of all I would like to create a street address and in each of that column I would like to present this value now with the city then I will be using uh, these values um, so I have to extract the city name and then uh, um, put that there and then uh, I will be extracting state and uh, postal code from uh, this uh, uh, data as well how you do that uh, we will be using parse operator so first of all uh, you will write the table so just uh, like a table name and uh, then you have pipe sign parse and then a uh, column that you would like to use for parsing here is the address uh, column we are going to use for a uh, parsing from that's where we would like to get the value out of to next columns now we will say with and here you see that street address colon so start with something right there so that's the text that we are looking for and once we are looking for that one after that it's gonna get this this value until where till here comma city colon so see right there so it will go till here if it find this value there and then it's gonna print that value for us and uh, give it a name to call a street address and uh, the is ending point is a comma city colon so you can see right there that's what I have uh, pro provided in the next uh, and I give uh, anything for that value I'm gonna give a city name so if you find this one until here then anything after that before the comma here you are gonna use that as a city name so I keep going uh, for the state did the same thing here so if you find comma state colon so then that value will be used as state code so this is going to be state code right there and then you are going to find a comma postal code right there and this value till there if you find this after that this value will be used as a zip code now after that I'm not caring about other so other note if you find something like this other note colon so then use everything whatever it is after that even have the commas or not just use as other note column so let's go ahead and take a look here so let's execute the query and uh, then uh, we are going to get all these columns and out of these columns whatever we want to print uh, that's what the project is going to do so let's go ahead and execute this query and here you can see that uh, the address uh, column is broken into multiple columns uh, I could have actually shown address here as well so let me do that uh, so I'm going to do uh, copy the address column so we can see parallel so right there before the actual address here so let's execute this query one more time and take a look so here is our address uh, column and then uh, you can see that uh, as uh, we have used a parse uh, and broken down on different uh, parts of it so street address uh, 126 and uh, then you can see that uh, for the next uh, 141401 Anderson Street and they have that there city names comes like this state code zip code and other note uh, you're not going to be lucky to have everything always formatted in this case everything was well formatted and we were able to extract the data here it says street address everywhere you know so you start from here and uh, once the colon hits uh, that's where you say like oh this is my value for street address now think about another scenario so in this case uh, where we have uh, some garbage in the data right here this is address and then we have street address uh, here we have another garbage uh, here is down 
loaded from Zillow. This is also garbage. Uh, to handle this one, uh, what we need to do, we will be saying address with uh, and use asterisk before uh, this part of it. Uh, once you do that, uh, it's going to use this part as it is and ignore it. Uh, and uh, then it's going to look for this guy. So overall, uh, this is going to be something like that. Uh, so it is uh, expect and on the left side, maybe there is some garbage data. And then uh, starting with street address colon. Uh, so it's going to start from right there and ignore the first uh, characters before it. Uh, now that's uh, uh, we will do uh, for the street address. And then we are looking for comma city colon. Uh, so that's where it find it and then uh, get the city name for us. Uh, now what's going to happen there, uh, then uh, we have state and state code and all that. Now look at the postal code. Uh, so after the state code uh, right there, uh, what we have, we have a postal code and uh, that uh, right there so you there is more garbage data here as well somebody has some people call it zip code and postal code colon so right there this data is not required there so in these cases uh, what i did uh, for the state code uh, after that uh, after the state code what we did uh, we have put the comma and then we said that uh, see right there this comma and then say asterisk uh, Postcode, so it's pretty much the same thing what you have done here, and uh, but it's inside that uh, uh, text. Uh, so we are saying asterisk, uh, and uh, then we are saying postal code colon, uh, and look for that. So anything can be here, you know, something like that. And uh, right here as well, some countries uh, don't have zip codes uh, and then have a uh, postal code. Uh, so this is also garbage. Uh, so this uh, asterisk is going to cover that part, uh, and look for the. Uh, postal code. Uh, once I uh, look for postal code uh, colon uh, and uh, we give the name to that column zip code uh, and then we have comma others. Uh, so at the end uh, you have this uh, uh, other right there comma other look for that one uh, and uh, after that whatever it is uh, show everything and uh, give the name to the column called the other note. Uh, so or we can say ending other uh, whatever you want to give other note or you know. So give that and then uh, we can uh, use that information here and now uh, we can uh, just say project and whatever we want to present uh, we can do that as well so here let me add that address as well so you can see how exactly this is formatted so execute the entire query here and now you can see that uh, this is our address uh, and uh, you can see that this is the address street address uh, so this is garbage part of it uh, so it is uh, removed because we use asterisk and then we look for a street address colon so this is ignoring this part and then only looking for a street address colon and then presenting as a street address sorry yeah right there then it's going to go for the next one and see right there this is street address this is fine so it is look for it and then found this value here and that's where it is and then you can see that this is downloaded from zillow so it ignored that all the parts and just show that um, street address colon and that's where it started so we have street address and uh, it's, it showed uh, this value right there okay so that works great and then we have city state and zip code and uh, then uh, you have last uh, column that's the remaining of it uh, and uh, if you notice here as well uh, for the zip code uh, right there so uh, see right there and we call it zip code uh, column right there so we look for star and uh, then a uh, postal code colon uh, so this can be anything some people like it. This is garbage data right there, right? So I look for all that and then say, oh, okay, there is a postal code. That's what I'm looking for. I don't care what is before this postal code. So this can be something like that as well, okay? So this ignore that part and then I look for the postal code and we call that zip code. And then that's why we, how we print it up. So you can use the parse uh, operator in uh, Costo to parse the uh, different addresses or other column uh, values into the multiple columns. Um, thank you very much for watching. Um, I will put this uh, script in the description so you can take a look. Uh, thank you and uh, see you guys in the next video.